What's going on guys, Ryan with Jet Up Drill back with another video today. Transport Trooper is hot off the FedEx, the FedEx truck, FedEx truck. From Pop Collectibles, let's roll. What's going on guys, we're back. Pop Collectibles has sent me another package and I have the Transport Trooper, which I know it may not be the most hyped figure of 2022, but it's another Trooper. And if you follow me, you know I like Troopers, so let's go ahead and get into this. So I have a box, if you guys are wondering like how, this is FedEx International Priority Shipping. If you buy other shipping methods, you may be used to the, 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 the boxes with like four million stamps on it. Uh, and occasionally I will get one of those. But today we went FedEx International for this guy because honestly it's just faster and it makes more sense um and you don't have to worry about where the hell your packages are uh for you know a week or two all right so let's go ahead and, I'm, I'm excited about this one guys let's go like i usually just unbox these like live on on instagram or something and uh but today here i am i went and got it so they're gonna come yeah securely packaged bubble wrap the whole thing right we're gonna do this. By the way, I've got another, I got another package somewhere around here, but I'll save that for another video. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing open up. Let's go. Now, I would like to know from you guys, do you have a favorite six scale trooper? Do you have, is, is it this one? I don't know. Uh, how many of these do I need? I do have some thoughts about this fi figure in relation to Mando, but we'll, we'll, I don't wanna jump too far ahead. Let me know your favorite trooper Six scale trooper. I got packaging stuff uh, in the comment section below because I want to know. Here we go. We got a box. Here it goes. We have a uh, transport trooper TMS 030. Uh, good looking box. Normal Star Wars box. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's got the little wraparound thing, the little bands photo there. Here's who done it. Let's open this thing up. Let's get that new, that new fresh hot toys smell. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, great photo. Good job. That's a fantastic photo insert. I like that. That looks pretty good. I kind of dig it. I like it. Yeah, good good photography. I like it. All right, let's get you out of the way. Uh, now, it's not going to come with much of anything, honestly. So, let's get you out of here. Box. Not going to come with much of nothing. I think you got a blaster and we got four hands and some extra wrist pegs. So, that's fun. All right, come on. Okay, you can do it. Let's go. Oh, it's so good. All right, so if you have the Mud Trooper, which I no longer, I need to, I need a Mud, if anybody out there has a Mud Trooper they no longer want, message me. I need to add one back to the collection. Anyways, um, the uh, I, I, I sold my Mud Trooper, my Han Solo Deluxe, and a Patrol Trooper last year and bought a Hulkbuster. So I figured that was a pretty good deal, but I kind of want the Mud Trooper back. So anyways, all right, so we got uh, we got a blaster here, which we've seen a pile of times. Uh, so normal blaster, a little weathering, yeah, whatever. We got some hands, we got uh, two fisted hands. We've got some trigger hands. Great, we've got some extra wrist pegs. We got a figure. And we got a normal Star Wars display base with all the, you know, the normal, you know, you know the thing. You know the thing. Uh, it says transport trooper there. All right, you get out of here. Packages, we got plastic. I wanna look at this thing. Mmm. Yes. All right, look at this coloring. Oh, how many of these do I need? Now, I only bought one, for those wondering, uh, because I have thoughts, I have thoughts. Well, I have hopes, I guess. Um, for what's going to go on with this thing. But here's like first impressions. Like it looks pretty stinking good. I love the color. Like it's very, very, it, it, if it's not the same color as a Mud Trooper, I would be very shocked. Like it's, it's definitely got more battle damage on it, but it looks flipping amazing. Oh man. I like this. All right, let me get this plastic junk off of here, which is always the worst. Hey, that was easy. That's always the worst part. It's getting all the plastic off. So, I wanted to just kind of, here, come here. I wanted to just kind of unbox this with you guys. Uh, and it may even drag out the video a little bit, but I know some of you guys don't care. 
In fact, some, some of you might actually prefer it. Uh, I really, really despise taking all these little plastic bits off of Hot Toys figures with their tape. They, they just, I mean, I understand it's there for protection, right? But sometimes it just, it's a bit much. So there's plastic. I got plastic, I got plastic. Get out of here. Uh, and two more. Because I, I want to, I want to have some fun with this, I think. Uh, that, that wasn't too bad. All right, last, last bit of plastic. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay, got plastic off. I don't need you no more. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, my first impressions of this thing are it's a stupid, cool trooper. Like, it's a good trooper variant. I like this thing. That's my first impression. Like, look at the back. Look at the back with all this detail going on. Obviously, we'll do some close-ups of it, but just, uh, oh, we got some foam padding underneath the shin guards. So get rid of that. Dude. That's cool. Now, the, vi the visor is like a, it's like an amber color. I thought it would just be straight up black, but it's more like an amber color visor. Yeah, it's straight. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's straight up amber. This thing... Forgive me for just liking troopers, honestly. Um, but let's just quickly, before we get into some posing and close-ups and everything, let's take a look at the articulation. Uh, oh yeah, that's nice. Got a little double bend on the elbow. Gotta like that. We got, oh, okay. Velcro. Velcro shoulder armor. I dig that, I dig that, all right. Double bend on the knee. And you guys know we got that stupid Star Wars boot with literally no, it's the normal storm. <laughs> It's nicely painted, but it's it's the normal single pleather boot. Oh, I hate it when they do that. All right, let's see here. Arms. Can we get arms? Oh, yeah, arms are going to go up pretty good. No issues with that. Whoa. Look at that. That's straight up some of the best ab crunch you're going to get out of a trooper. I like that. Pleather, pleather uh, holster right here. Look at that. There's not much limitation on the pant. Straight up splits. Look at this. For those wanting the quick video, this is the quick video. Oh, dude. There, there, is, a, there is decent ankle ro uh, rotation on, on there, but you got that single style boot. It just kind of sucks. Dude, there is so much cool weathering going on with this thing. Okay, so I only ordered one. I oh, know. Hear me out. I only ordered one, uh, but I will, depending on how the posing goes, I'm probably going to get uh, at least at least one more. But I have I have thoughts. I have thoughts about this uh, particular trooper. Before we get into the posing section of this thing, all right? This will be, this will be a little different video for you guys. Um, I recently acquired, okay, and uh, I do have videos coming on these very soon. Um, let's see here. Where are they at? I recently, come here. Ugh. I recently acquired... The Luke and Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise. Okay? Now, hear me out. How many regular Stormtroopers were there? A lot. I have a lot of them, right? But they released a Stormtrooper disguise of Luke way back when, 2015-ish. And then years later, we got Han, which I don't know why they waited that long, but whatever. Uh, and I will be doing a retro review on both of those figures. In fact, Luke is still in the box. Um... But can you stand up for me, Han? You can do this for me. Thank you. Um, but I, here, here's my thought on this. Could we possibly see a Mando in disguise and a Mayfeld in disguise figure from Hot Toys? I, I think it's within the realm of possibility, honestly. I think it is. Um, because we, we know we're getting a Mando head sculpt with the Chrome Deluxe Mando. We know we're going to get that. It's a easy cash grab for them. Easy cash grab. Easy. Because you know I would buy it, and you would buy it. And in fact, we would all buy it. So Hot Toys, if you don't want to give us... Anyways, that's my thoughts. I don't know, you let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But let's go ahead and get into posing this thing and talking about all the details. Because um, it's got a lot. Let's take a look at this figure up close. We've got the boots, which are a nice... Various, like there's so much weathering going on here. So we got a black boot, 
But if you notice down the bottom sole, it's definitely got mud, dirt, everything going on with this thing. It is totally weathered, even though it is the, the it, you know, it's the thing with the, the single boots. But we you know, look, how, look how that olive drab green is popping off of the boot with the straps and then the shin guard. You can see the difference in coloring going on. I mean, they, they did a really cool job with it. I like that. It's not just a plain, flat out, just green thing. You know, I, I kind of dig that. Uh, moving up, we can see the pant. Uh, it is uh, very nicely done. It's simple, as you saw earlier, no posing difficulties whatsoever. So, I mean, you can flat out do the split, which is a, pretty impressive, honestly. Uh, and then we've got the, oh yeah, let's let's move on up. I've got him uh, actually holding his, uh, his helmet there. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just have him do like a little horror thing going on, but we've got him with the, the olive drab pant. The, the shirt is definitely a lighter color than the pant, which is nice. Got to have some contrast. We got the red, uh, armor on the, uh, right bicep. That's nice. The gloves are, I mean, again, you get six hands. They're fairly basic. They're black gloves. There's a little bit of texturing on them, but not a whole lot of much of anything. So not a whole lot going on there. One thing you can see right there is if you have the elbow bent, you can see how the shirt rides up. So if you buy a shirt that's too small, uh, it rides up on the, uh, and uncovers that wrist peg, which is a little unsightly. So we have to get a little tricky with the posing. Uh, here we can see just all the little battle damage and everything going on with the armor. Um, and it looks, looks pretty stinking good in my so humble opinion. Uh, but I do dig that. And then we've got the uh, the backpack, which again, looks flipping fantastic. Look at the detail on that. Crazy. So anyways, I know we didn't get a Mando head sculpt, but uh, I improvised. I'm not sure it works, but there it is. So yeah, so <laughs> I'll zoom this guy out and you guys can see kind of what we're messing around with here. I'm just having fun uh, because we don't have our Pedro Pascal head sculpt just yet. We got this guy, and honestly, it looks pretty stinking good, despite that fact. So the weathering on it, I think, is like 9 out of 10. I really dig it. It's, it's posable. I think that's awesome. It just need that, that, we need that stormtrooper or that transport trooper disguise version of this figure. So let's do some poses, have some fun. Let's roll. We got our transport trooper posed up in a little bit of a running pose. We'll kind of move him around here in just a little bit, but I thought you might want to see what he looks like next to some shore troopers. Uh, that actually were somewhat relevant in that particular episode, I think. Actually, I'm pretty sure everybody was. Uh, so we do have our uh, our grunt over there with his tray. Perfect. Yep, got to have that one. And then we've got our uh, our squad leader over here. Just kind of watching stuff. Not really well, his typical leader. Not really doing much of anything, really. Uh, but then we've got this guy right here, which looks all kinds of cool. So again, posing him, I think you could pretty much do whatever the heck you want, but you need to keep it in the realm of what a trooper would do, right? So he would run off. And look at the look at the detail. Let me see if I can zoom here. Look at the detail on on the uh, the weathering. It's quite it's quite good. It really is quite good. Plenty of knee bend. You can see right here, and I am using the stand for this because uh, I've got that foot just kind of. Uh, and not really balanced on anything. He's kind of balanced on this back foot back here. Um, but he looks freaking fantastic. You could focus. That would be amazing. Um, he actually looks quite good, even with these guys right here. So I, I think having multiples of these is the right call. I think. I think it is. I mean, look at this here. Let me rotate him around here. Just look. look at that. It's freaking cool. And there is a, uh, there's definitely an amber tint on the, uh, on the visor. It's definitely that. And interesting enough, let's see if I can do this. Um, yeah, let's do this. I, I just noticed this as I was kind of messing around. There is actually, if I can get zoomed in here, there's actually like a bit of teal weathering on the, on the helmet, which was, I found pretty interesting. So pretty much uh, in the upper visor part and down the, or the V comes down in that crevice, there's some slight, like a teal bluish weathering, which is interesting because I've really seen that on any other troopers. And it's a really odd choice for a olive green trooper. It's kind of weird, but it's fine. Uh, the red shoulder armor is absolutely needed. Our, our bicep armor, that is an absolute must. And it absolutely um, it just gives a little pop of color to a figure that otherwise would be just pretty much all green. But this guy looks just 
awesome all together. So I'm going to have some fun with this. In fact, I've got another video coming up uh, very soon. I'm actually reposing the entire collection. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll, we'll do some more posing with this guy on that video. But I'm pretty excited for this one. It's it's not the most momentous release of the year, but as a trooper variant, I like it. Hope you guys do as well. If you want to pick one up, check out Pop Collectibles in the description below, which they're having a May 4th sale on troopers and some other Star Wars items. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, they probably have a newsletter. You can subscribe and get notified about that. But uh, yeah, this guy might be on the list. Just saying. Might want to check him out. As always, click what you like. See you next time.